Hello, I'm Jeff Swoboda, the Police Chief in Elgin, and I'm here just to give a short video clip uh, on crime in Elgin in 2013. We are pleased to report that we saw a 6% reduction in crime uh, from compared to 2012. 2013, we had over 2,100 Part 1 crimes, so we recognize we have a long way to go, a lot of work to do, but we believe that the strategies we are engaged in are working. To put this in perspective a little bit as well, in 1989, we had almost 5,000 Part 1 crimes. Today, again, we have a little over 2,100. So we were able to reduce crime, when I say we, you and the Elgin Police Department, were able to reduce crime over 50% from 1989. Going back a little further even, 1972, we had over 2,600 Part 1 crimes. That was a time when the city's population was half what it is today. And again, we were able to reduce crime by almost 20% compared to 1972. And we're talking raw numbers, not percentage based on population. So the strategies we're employing, uh, we believe are working, and uh, we're hoping, hopeful that 2014 will continue to see uh, more decreases. A couple areas I want to hit on are uh, burglaries, burglary motor vehicles, and robberies. Each one of those areas are down uh, to almost 20 year lows. And a big part of that is our Like It, Lock It campaign. We have spent a lot of time and energy reminding people not to leave their car doors locked, or not to leave them unlocked, uh, when they're out working in the yard, not to leave the garage door open. And uh, in times gone by, we recognize people did that routinely. But in today's day and age, locking your belongings up is very important. Many crimes are very, are very uh, quick to occur. They're crimes of opportunity. So just simple acts like locking your car doors when you're not near your car are uh, ways you can prevent from being, becoming a victim of crime. So uh, while we saw all these reductions, we also saw a few places where crime had increased in 2013. The area that we saw the largest increase was in the area of arsons. In 2012, we had 10 arsons. In 2013, we had 14. So we have seen an increase in arsons. Uh, specifically, nine of those 14 we are attributing to one individual who was setting uh, fires in dumpsters, garbage cans around town. So uh, while we have seen an increase, we believe many of those to be related. So that is something that was concerning in 2013 and we'll be watching in 2014. So all these crime stats that I'm briefly going over are available online. Please take some time, look at them. You can also go to crimereports.com, look at specifically your neighborhood, what's occurring. Uh, and if there's something we're missing, you want to reach out to us, please do. Because we believe that by working with you and us being engaged in discussing these problems and being honest with each other, what's going on in your neighborhoods, that that will be the way that we can reduce crime either, even further in 2014. So again, thank you for uh, tuning in and watching this video. Please feel free to share it. And uh, here's to a, a successful 2014. Thank you.